Embers vs. MS Data File 02104XZOMS, Talgis. As the Xeon Rebellion War peaked it was clear that the Federation needed mobile suits of their own. In-house development staff were already at work on their own Gundam, but Federation Brass made a push to their associated weapons development companies for outsourced MS designs with an ultimatum that the one with most successful design would receive priority for mass production. The Romefeller Foundation, which backed the Federation forces, used their resources to bring the top mobile suit designers together to create a prototype for their own purposes. The result was the prototype Leo, a high-performance MS presumed to have no equal in combat. Unfortunately this prototype proved more successful in design than was feasible for any normal pilot to control, as during testing the G-forces created by the Super Vernier engines severely injured a number of pilots. With the success of the Gundam project by the Federation, Romefeller felt compelled to drop the prototype Leo project in favor of continued funding for mass production of the Gundam. Duke Magnus still felt the prototype had merit, and secretly began production of scaled-back LEO units at their headquarters. In the post-war era, the prototype LEO would gain a new lease on life when it was given to Colonel Verdun following his defeat in battle by an unknown Gundam type, and he gave it the name Talgis. While Romefeller continues to reinforce weakened Federation positions with their special forces, Verdun and the Talgis so far have only deployed in low-orbit sweep operations. It may only be a matter of time though before even he must get involved in the New Haven affair.